Hey guys, this is Besh from Bivam.com and welcome to our year-end roundup of the absolute best Android apps. I mean, if you've seen our other Android apps videos this year, you'd know that we got some great apps, some really good ones. But today, we are talking about the best Android apps of 2020. Now, before we begin, a huge shout out to Wormhole for sponsoring this video. So, Wormhole is actually a great tool if you want to control your smartphone from your Mac or Windows PC. I mean, I have wormhole set up and as you can see, the iPhone screen is cast on my laptop, but this is more than just mirroring. I can click to open an app or a menu, type on my phone via the laptop keyboard, and that's not all. I can also copy text from my laptop and paste it on the phone. Drag and drop files as well, and yeah, connect multiple phones at once. And I like that these features are available for both Android and iOS. Now, wormhole is available for Windows, Mac, iPhones, and Android, so check it out from the link below. So there are a lot of audio recorder apps on the Play Store, but I think this year Dolby kind of rocked their world by launching Dolby On. See, Dolby On is a brilliant audio recorder app and there are multiple reasons for that. First off, the UI is beautiful. It's actually really cool. Now, second, it captures great audio because when you stop recording in Dolby On, it applies things like noise reduction, dynamic EQ, volume maximization, stereo winding, easy fades, etc. Plus, it has audio editing capabilities and with the recent update, you can now even import other audio files or even video files for the app and edit the audio right here. Now, the last reason why the app is brilliant is because it brings all of that for free. So, Ratio has to be one of the most popular launches of 2020, but I think it's also one of the best launches launched in 2020. I mean, this is Ratio right here, and it's clearly the most unique launcher I have used in a long, long time. It looks super minimal with its stark theme and its well-organized tabs. And yes, it does take time getting used to because this is a vastly different home screen than we're used to. But I liked it once I got the hang of it. Plus, Ratio's newest feature is just amazing. I mean, I'm talking about the third tab here called the tree, which combines all of your messages in a single place. So my WhatsApp, Instagram, and my messenger texts are right here on this page which honestly makes the whole texting process in different apps very seamless. See, Ratio is a launcher that I feel has a lot of potential and well, it deserves to be one of the best apps of 2020. Okay, so I'll be honest, when Photoshop camera first launched, I was kind of skeptical. I kind of discarded it because I thought it was just another filters app. Well, then I used it and turns out it is kind of a filters app, but it's so good and super fun really. I mean, the filters here are called lenses, but they are crazy. I mean, using Photoshop camera, you can turn your photos from say this to this, or you can add steam to your food, add planets in the sky. So there are a lot of other cool lenses you can use. And I love how well they work on basically any app photo. To be honest, the AI of the Photoshop camera is what makes it one of the best apps of 2020. And I hope Adobe keeps improving it in 2021. So Android 11 brought notification history to everyone, but Filterbox is a notification history app that's way more powerful and that's the reason it makes it to this list. First of all, it brings you all the notifications in this really cool looking timeline. And second, it gives you so much control over notifications. I mean, you can search for any lost notifications, you can restore a notification you dismissed, and you can even add an undo button to notifications to make sure you don't accidentally dismiss a notification. So all of that and an analytics feature showing you the total notifications of the day, the apps that you've gotten the most notifications from. So yeah, Filterbox is something you should try. See, I'm generally very picky when it comes to wallpaper apps because some of them have bad UI, some of them are full of ads, but this year my favorite new wallpaper app is CRISPR. So CRISPR is still in early access, but I really like the UI. It's really clean, it's very minimal, and everything just looks very modern overall. Plus, I like what you can do with different wallpapers. I mean, the wallpaper source here is Unsplash. So there are some really cool wallpapers as well as illustrations, but I like CRISPR because of the customization options it gives me. So say I open this wallpaper, now I can just edit it and add some really cool effects. As you can see, there's emboss, pixelate, sepia, etc. But my favorite is zoom blur. It just looks so cool on this photo. Overall, this is the wallpaper app to try in 2020.
So don't kill my app is a new benchmark app that arrived in 2020 and you've probably heard of it. And unlike CPU, GPU benchmarks that don't give you an idea about the real world performance, don't kill my app brings you exactly that. I mean, this benchmark app shows you if your phone is killing apps in the background or not, because a lot of you guys do that to conserve battery life and it does ruin the experience. See, when I tested it, I found stock Android as well as Oxygen OS to do well, but other skins like MIUI, One UI, or Realme UI kill apps in the background frequently. Anyway, the app also guides you on how you can stop your phone from killing apps in the background. So, yep, it's great. So let me make one thing clear, Wonderfind is an app that launched in 2019, but I discovered it this year and I think it's one of the best apps I have used in 2020. So it's simple, Wonderfind lets you find your lost earbuds or headphones or anything with Bluetooth really. Now I use this to find my wireless earbuds all the time because I always misplace them. So here's how it works. You just need to move around with the phone and if the distance score is increasing, it means you are near the earbuds. So when the score hits 100%, it means your earbuds are very, very near. It's very cool and as you can see, it shows the car Bluetooth system as well as other people's headphones. So I'm going to use this someday to maybe steal, I mean, borrow Akshay's AirPods Pro one day. So creating a new email ID isn't something that crosses our mind anymore and it's also a big hassle. But hey, Hey Email is a new service that honestly makes me want to do it. So Hey Email is a new email service. Like I said, it's not an email client and it's actually focused on bringing you less email, which honestly I appreciate and I think a lot of you guys will appreciate it too. See Hey Email basically lets you control who can reach you. You get to screen first time email senders where you can just thumbs up or thumbs down. I mean, when you get a spam, you can just do thumbs down and it's like the easiest way to get rid of spam. Apart from that, I like the three tabs for inbox where you get the important email feed which shows you the newsletter and other things to read and paper trail which has all the receipts see hey email is kind of an ambitious and unique take on email and i think it deserves the attention even though yes changing your email seems like a big task So Google's Socratic acquisition gave way to Socratic by Google this year and in a year when everyone's kind of studying from home, this app makes a lot of sense. I mean, yes, this app is very similar to say PhotoMath or Microsoft's Math Solver, but it's Google AI and along with math problems, it can also solve questions in biology, chemistry, physics, history and literature. So this is like a good all-in-one learning app for anyone facing issues solving problems at home during this pandemic season. So that was our list of the best apps of 2020 but if there's any other app that you think should have made this list make sure to comment down below so that everyone can know and yeah give this video a like if you enjoyed it make sure to share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos also happy new year guys from all of us at the b team thanks for watching